men are refusing to give life-saving CPR to a woman because they're afraid to touch their breasts. Happened on the 16th October of 2024 by Sean Wooler, health editor for the Daily Mail. Any man who would let a woman die because she wants to make because he wants to make a point by pretending that he's too afraid to touch her breasts. And the process of saving her life is a piece of shit. This has nothing to do with unclear boundaries and everything to do with men who want to punish women for having boundaries in the first place. There has never been a single case where a man has gotten in trouble for touching a woman's breast while administrating CPI. Excuse you, there has. <laughs> There were cases where a lifeguard was giving um, mouth to mouth to save someone and she sued him after. Like literally there has been cases. There are laws preventing people from being prosecuted or sued for performing CPR. This is nothing more than a clickbait bullshit meant to discredit feminism and erode the idea that women are allowed to have boundaries. Don't tell men no or they might let you die. What? That's just literally not true? That's... What? It is pushing the idea that women's desire not to be sexually assaulted is so egregious that men are justified in letting us die because of it. That because we dare to object to the idea that men have the right to just touch us wherever and whenever they feel like it. It's understandable for them to then just refuse to try to save our lives when we're dying as payback. Oh, bro, are you for fucking real? <laughs> She's making this into a personal agenda. Literally hundreds of doctors get sued from that shit a year. Literally, man, that's sexual harassment. Oh my god. Oh my god. There literally has been cases where a lifeguard got fucking suit because he performed mouth to mouth or someone who was dying and no shit men don't want to touch women anymore when all they scream fucking sexual harassment and that they've gotten r-worded every fucking other minute like oh my god oh my freaking god here is a post uh, that uh, then quote retreated this one. So I found this. Men have been successfully sued for this in the past. Men are not making this shit up in their heads. You people did this, not us. If you hate this, start policing your own sex, hack. <laughs> I did not expect the hack comment. Cop! She's a cop? Right, a feminist, not the fun kind. Only females can be women, <laughs> girls, or lesbians. <gasps> Stop pretending you don't know that. What? This is. So <laughs> Wait, this is so funny, actually. It appears that there are quite a few men out there who are all up in their feelings because I pointed out that publishing an article about men letting women die all in order to make other women afraid to set boundaries is a shitty thing to do. Keep crying, gentlemen. How in the world is this what you're getting out of this? Reading Comprehension Zero, man. Like, how is this telling you? Women have done this. Women have made men afraid because constantly men are being screwed over left and right for being called a sexual harasser bro women are saying that they've gotten r-worded when and like harassed when simply all was done was like touched on the shoulder like held the shoulder held their hand wrong like touched their belly maybe for a second oh but uh, <laughs> this is why I hate women. This is why I am a misogynist, apparently. Wim bro, bro, bro. If men do CPR, sue him for sexual harassment. If men don't do CPR, man bad. Either you go to jail or be free and bad. Choose your prison. Did you actually read the post? Can you read? Apparently you can read, Diana! Because... <sighs> Apparently you can read! The real take
takeaway is that the mindlessly believing women has consequences. I believe evidence, not women. Literally! There's literally evidence where people have gotten sued over the shit. No one mindlessly believes women. The phrase believe all women means don't dismiss claims of sexual assault. <laughs> oh yeah? Oh yeah? Why do women constantly get away with uh, uh, calling for fucking... Uh, calling out that someone has been R-worded? Like uh, someone R-worded them. You know? Why is that constantly a thing? Why does the court constantly believe them? And if uh, women, like on another topic, if people didn't just blindlessly believe women, why is it that even if the mom is a fucking shit person, even if a, a mother is the shittiest freaking person ever, they still get the, um, they still get the child in like a child case, you know? But it's like mom against dad. Fuck, I forgot the word for it, man. Custody, thank you. Thank you, Sido. They still get custody. Even if they can be a Imagine fucking you drug addict. Somebody. You perform life-saving actions on someone who is dying. The person makes it through and you get sued afterwards for sexual harassment. Literally Imagine happened! playing the victim is somehow more important to someone than fucking being alive. Every yeah. court that has to deal with such a case should just laugh at the accuser and ask if she is mentally ill and needs assistance. They should, but yet again, yet again, the court just likes to, likes to side with women. And women have been getting away with this shit for way too long, man. Women have been getting away with shit, with this garbage for way too long. That they can just, like, accuse people of... Harassing someone? I don't fucking know if that's... Yeah, star, it's a star of David followed by a skull. Yeah, I don't fucking know what she's doing here in her post, man. I have no freaking idea. No one mindlessly believes women. The phrase believe all women means don't dismiss claims of sexual assault and out of hand. A major problem. Obviously, there will be an investigation. <laughs> but at this point in time, our word is by far the easiest major felony there is to get away with investigation or not so creeps who want to abuse women basically have a license to do it as freely as they like 97 percent of our cases fail to secure a felony conviction why because male jurors consistently refuse to convict unless the victim is visibly injured okay but just because this is right doesn't mean that the other thing is all wrong they can both exist they can both be right at the same time where is she getting those numbers from? I don't know exactly where she's getting those numbers for. It is true that a lot of people do get away with it. That is true. But it's also true that a lot of women just falsely accuse people of harassment and of R wording them. Both can be true at the same time. To sue the person that saved your life is, uh, to me, is a clear indicator that you are a mental patient. Literally. Let me literally find the article. Uh, life... Guard sued over mouth to a mouth. Yeah, found it. Found it. Right there. First result. He saved her. Then he sued him. Then she sued him. Sorry. Like, lifeguards are remarkably effective at preventing drownings. We're not kidding. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I saved the girl from drowning. For those you inexperienced with you, okay? I was at the beach with a few friends. Me, not you, sorry. Up, 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 up. <sighs> okay, incredibly, the rescued woman filed a lawsuit. The lady later sued me. I raced to her, then carried her on my back to the shore, keeping her above water. She had already swallowed a lot of water. I risked my own life because my weight with hers could have been too much, but I made it. She was getting further and further from the shore by the second. So what happened? I was at a beach with a few friends, noticed a girl way too far from the shore. By too far, I mean way too far, at least twice as far as any other person. Her gestures were clear. She was drowning, barely keeping her head above the water. So she was a fat Karen. <laughs> I don't know. The lady later sued me. That sounds fairly heartless, but obviously provided some context that makes the woman's actions more understandable, although still reprehensible. Now, I learned later that she had to spend three days at the hospitals, couldn't afford it, tried to sue the beach owners, but her case was rejected. But she still sued me. Her case was that I should have saved her earlier. <laughs> I've had been careless not 
wasn't carrying her to the show fast enough and should have let the life go to his job. Yes, you read that right. I had injured her. She was a pain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is an entire different case, but goddamn. Holy shit. Uh, sued for CPR. <laughs> oh my god, man. A suit for CPR. Uh, fuck, man. Suit for CPR. Man, suit for resurrection. I did CPR on a crash victim. I'm saved her life, but now I'm being sued below whose life saved by Krakish after she accused him of breaking her rib. Lovely. Man sues paramedics from bringing him back to life. Man sues EMT res- It's so dumb. Bro, I can't find the right article right now, right away. I wasn't even prepared in talking about this, but yeah, there was a lifeguard being sued for mouth to mouth. It's ridiculous. Aggro tired of stupid people. Yeah, we, should, we need to bring back public shaming. Public shaming and beating your children. <laughs> This is a joke! It's a joke! Do not beat your children! <laughs> Don't beat your children! Educate them! <laughs> this is why we need mental asylums? It is. It is. For a woman, a smile and a greeting from a man is not always a simple interaction. So Obis Karen just went out there to reunite with the whale flock and that disgusting lifeguard on, keeps man. her from doing so. Justice <laughs> served. Come on, man. That's me. <laughs> Come on, man. We used to be a proper society, yeah. Beating shit in physical education. <laughs> Chat, bad. <laughs> Might as well bring back public execution while we edit. Yeah, true, actually. The fox has spoke. We raised the children. We the sigh in the way. <laughs> We live in different times that is way different from when you grew up. The time we live in now, a man can get called creepy if he smiles at a woman and says good morning. That is true, though. That is true. <laughs> like, bro. TTS, you working? Okay, the TTS doesn't want to work. I'll read it out. I've heard a really good method for educating children. It's called a chunkla. I don't know if I spelled it right. What's that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a flipper. <laughs> Okay. For a woman, a smile and a greeting from a man is not always a simple interaction if there's no one else around. It sets off the threat calculator in your- What?! This woman's insane! Take her away! <laughs> How close do you let him get? Is he carrying anything? Are you? Can it be used as a weapon? Can anything- you're carrying. Are you wearing shoes you can run in? Fight in? What if he grabs you when you pass him? Is anyone in earshot? If you do have to run, which way do you go? And so... Uh, this woman's behaving like she's in a PvP something. <laughs> she's got PvP enabled, alright. She must be leading a very sad life, bro. I am disgusted that she's a cop. I'm disgusted that she's a cop. We live in a time in which most US women are going to get our word at some point in their lives. Excuse you, what? 25% of women will report uh, an R word in their lifetime. 63% of R go unreported. What? That's, what a wild... Bro, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's such a ridiculous claim. Bro just hates men. Uh, this person just hates men? This person probably had a bad experience with like one man and now hates all men? Let me guess, she now is a dedicated lesbian suddenly too? What is your source? My source is that I made it the fuck up, literally. 90% of adult are victims and 82% of molested... <laughs> yeah, are female. Okay... I, I want to look up those stats. Uh, percentage. Children, gender. My int my ISP is gonna love it. One in nine girls and one in 20 boys under the age of 18 experience sexual abuse or assault. 80% of all victims under 18 are female. Uh, what did she say? 
Okay, this seems to be right. At least those are the reported ones. Again. Like, I, I like how she's talking about how a lot of those things are unreported, but she doesn't go in on how unreported the boy thing is. Like, men are reporting this sort of abuse way less than women are. If you believe it or not. Because there's like an added factor of social fucking shame to it. There's like an added factor of an... Um, where man just where like other men in society always goes like oh you just you're a man man can't get armor worded you know man can't get raped um, ma uh, I bet you enjoyed it though I didn't feel good though you know that fucking bullshit under the under law women can't uh, be charged with uh, rape charges in certain countries what what the fuck in the UK? Oh. Wow. Well, there you go, man. There you fucking go. I wonder why it's so underreported. I wonder why it's as high as 82% of all victims of under 18 are female. I wonder. Lucky boy, why didn't I have a teacher like her? Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. Jesus Christ. Nice. Yeah. Where was she? Where was she when I was young? It's because the definition of grape requires the perpetrator to have the appropriate biological equipment. That's ridiculous. That's fucking ridiculous. So, let me- let me say it how it is. Because the guy got hired... It's not grape. While, at the same time, females also can get... ...wet when getting R-worded. Like... Are you for fucking real? Oh my god. It's a biological reaction, exactly. The erection of consent! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It literally is a bodily reaction. Like, hello? Morning would exist? Like, you guys literally wake up with a heart on, like... Excuse me? <laughs> it's not like you chose it. <laughs> In America, it's a lot of states. Males can get R only as 8 under law. Your mess. Oh, Jesus. Let's see what else she has to say. The math isn't hard. <laughs> yeah, it is because in, you already say like there's an underreported number. So why isn't it true for the male case? Living with it, on the other hand, is anything but easy. Especially when you know that 97% of the time... Uh, they get away with it. Let me ask you a question, Thomas. Do you have enough empathy to imagine what it does to a woman to live with that knowledge, to grow up with it? Can you actually put yourself in our shoes and picture yourself in a world where half the population can easily kill or overpower you with their bare hands? You don't know which ones are dangerous and there's more of a chance than not that one of them will eye you or some days? Jesus Christ. She's a lunatic. She's literally villainizing all men. She's actually just villainizing men. Are you honest enough to admit that you'd be af afraid? Quicken your steps, maybe cross the streets? Or are you still of the opinion that a woman should risk arroid and murder so as to not risk hurting a good man's feeling? Can you understand why a good man, generally good man, won't be offended by a woman's fear? Your feelings are not on my radar when my safety is involved, and they shouldn't have to be. You're upset because women are uncomfortable with strange men. We are trying not to get our word and murdered, and then blame for whatever happens to us while the perpetrator gets away scot-free. Bro, she's actually playing PvP on hard mode. Actual schizo. Yeah, she got the schizo DLC, man. She literally got the schizo DLC. Depends on is the lady a liberal and smiling man of four eh, no? She ignores all signs of threat and is generally surprised when are the smiling man a white local? What? Why are we going so deep into politics on this one? Men worry that women will laugh at them. Women worry that men will kill them. Margaret Atwood. Bro, if you genuinely go out thinking that any man ever is out there just out to fucking murder you, that's ridiculous. And by the way, I grew up with an abusive stepfather, just letting that one out again, right? 
I grew up with an abusive stepfather that beat me. So I would have had more than enough reasons, probably in her mind, to hate all men and to villainize all men. Yet here I am knowing that one bad person doesn't mean everyone is bad. Like, not everyone's out to get you. Jesus freaking Christ. That she does not sound like a person that conceals and carries otherwise this would be worse. Uh, sorry, what does it mean? From her bio, she seems to be a turf. These people are not mentally sane as it is. Yeah, she definitely ain't mentally sane. I mean, boss, you are a bit unhinged. <laughs> I am a little bit mentally fucked in that. That is true. But overall, yes, but you've actually made enough to think. Yeah, like, I, I still have three brain cells left. <laughs> She pecking a pew pew? Oh, oh. I mean, she's a cop. You know, so she would be legally allowed to carry a gun, I assume? Imagine a psycho actually carrying a gun. Bro, she's a cop. Kids, it's because you're a rational, insane person. Yeah, fair, 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 actually fair. Uh... Trans men can use men's spaces. If you want to put yourself at risk, go for it. Absolutely no one gives a red- Oh my fucking god. Bro... To me, it feels like she had random a character creation and got all the bad traits. She pressed random a character creation and she got all the bad debuffs, man. Like, Jesus Christ. Transphobic called it. Yeah, only females can be women, girls or lesbians. Stop pretending you don't... <laughs> oh. That's disgusting.